Hey, happy sunshine family. Today is September 22nd, 2017. Uh, we're just hitting one o'clock in the afternoon on the Pacific coast. I wanted to draw your attention to the composite radar feed and take a look at the area of Western Kentucky here. You're going to see the radar blink off and then back on. And my Pretty much my sole reason for logging on right now was to document that. That, that turns off and then back on. Uh, we've got quite a larger mass of moisture that's off the coast of Florida. And it looks like whatever it is they were calling Hurricane Jose is just about dissipated. We've got much more severe weather than is showing up for Jose out over here in Wisconsin and flown over the upper peninsula of Michigan. And it looks like out here, maybe centered around some place in southern Idaho, we've got counterclockwise rotation going on. Looks like we got a merry-go-round or something going on here. And then, this is very strange, Take just watch Wyoming for a while. What, what's going on with that entire thing blinking off? It's almost like the whole state goes blank on the radar for a little while. All right, well, we're going to transition over to IntelliCast now. All right, we can see that IntelliCast is also showing a large mass of moisture on the reflective radar just off the east coast of Florida. Looks like Cuba is also getting a bunch of wet weather. And we don't see anything on reflective radar for Hurricane Maria. And when we put the satellite overlay we can see that this storm that's off the coast of Florida is, wow, it's a good percentage of the size of what they're purporting Maria to be. And Maria is supposedly ravaging these islands right now. Look at this. Uh, Maya Guana, the Bahamas, the wind speeds are 14 miles an hour. Look at this. It says it's broken clouds. 95 degrees feels like 108. Let's come on over here. All right. Pro Providenciales. Broken clouds. Wind speeds are 6 miles an hour, guys. 86 degrees feels like 99. I mean, that's in the middle of a hurricane, guys. It's halfway to the eye wall. Broken clouds, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels like 99, and the wind's only going 6 miles an hour. This was at 4 p.m. on September 22nd. Right now, it is 1307 on the Pacific coast. These readings are seven minutes old, guys. Seven minutes old from, from right in the middle of a hurricane. And we don't have any reflective radar on it. I really wonder if NASA is flat out lying to us. It was interesting on the Truth Channel that uh, she's got documented uh, like a Photoshop cropped square cut and paste box that's in one of the frames of the moving images yesterday of the satellite feed. So let's just play this. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and see some artifacts from Photoshop or other video editing.
Well, it looks like they've had a little bit more attention to detail today, guys. They they don't have any cut and paste masks or anything coming up. Well, hmm. It looks like maybe there's a. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's there's definitely we need to look right here. Now. Yeah, there's there's some division between these two clouds. They they aren't married up quite perfectly. Okay, well that's your afternoon peek at the radar. Very interesting uh what was going on over here in Wyoming. And then also this radar over here in Kentucky that blinks on and off. Blink. Yeah, big mass of storms in Florida, just off the coast. All right. Um, oh, one thing I didn't do is let's scroll up on IntelliCast and take a look at Jose. <laughs> wow, guys. NASA is still giving us a cyclone type of cloud formation. But judging by the reflective radar alone, this storm down here in off the coast of Florida is a much bigger deal to worry about. Although it looks like a bunch of moisture is being generated right here, guys. There's a bunch of moisture getting generated. So, I don't know, we can't count uh we can't count this one out just yet. Okay, if you've got any love, light, or links for me in this matter or any others that I talk about on my channel, uh, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. We'll be back soon with another update. I love you guys. Bye-bye.